Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast, where we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Hello and welcome to the new Unipro Eugene podcast episode. Today's topic is Eugene Query Designer and its basic functions. This is the Query Designer plugin, one of the new unique features of Eugene 1.9. It combines work of different sequence analysis algorithms into groups that match a specific pattern or a query and rejects all the other results that do not match the query. You can create and run schemas of such queries with Query Designer, and you combine search algorithms work by imposing constraints on distances between the search results. Let's create a query schema that will find ORF regions with TFBS region and a TATA box upstream from it. A binding site is considered as a promoter on this schema and a genome region matching this simple schema, a region that we search for, might appear to be a gene. I will start with clicking on the ORF algorithm element at the palette panel and dragging this element onto the schema. A new empty schema is created every time the query designer is launched. Then I drag the site con element onto the schema. Now I'd like to customize the element's settings. To do so, I click on the element and its properties and their values are available at the property editor panel, including the label value and the description. You can see at this point that the query designer interface is very similar to the workflow designer. Let's set TFBS value for the sitecon element label and the annotation's name parameter. These two parameters are represented at the elements title. Also, I will specify appropriate algorithms parameters. and increase the ORF minimum length parameter value. Now I need to specify that the distance between every found ORF region and the FBS region must not exceed 150 base pairs. To do so, I click on the end start constraint element and drag it onto the schema, placing it in between the TFPS element and the ORF element. A dialog pops up. Here I specify the algorithm elements that the constraint is imposed on and set the minimum and maximum distances values. I press OK and the constraint is added to the schema and displayed. When I select a constraint element by clicking on it, I can see its parameters values in the property editor just like I did with an algorithm element. The next element to add is the pattern element. I drag it onto the schema and set the TATA search pattern. Also, I change its label and annotations name. Then I add an analogous constraint for the OFF and TATA box elements. The schema is ready. Its run will lead to finding every set of OFF, TFBS and TATA box regions that match the specified parameters and the constraints. Take notice of order parameter that every algorithm element has, in which order the algorithms will be ran. To maximize the efficiency, algorithms finding the minimum number of results must go first. To change this setting, 
right click on the algorithm and either select up or down items to increment decrement the order number or set the order number manually. I press run schema. Before the schema is executed, I need to select the sequence to search through. Also, I need to specify the GeneBank file to save the resulting annotations into. By checking the Add to Project checkbox, I will be able to see the search results right after the search is done. Finally, I press Run and see the search results. The results are divided by groups that match the query that we have created and run. This is the way to work with the query designer. You can create your own query schemas matching your needs. If you do so, we would be glad if you share it with us by email eugene at unipro.ru and help us improve our product by including your schema into the future Eugene package versions. Thank you for watching.